Hey guys, Raj Sanger, Cardi Security. Welcome back to the channel. We are back with our E46 M3 convertible project. And today it's all about paint. So we are here at Auto Body Technique in Slough. We're gonna grab Bob, who's the owner, and we'll talk about the plans for just the front end of this M3. Right guys, let's grab Bob. Bob. Hey Rog, how you doing? You all right? Yeah, good, thanks. Okay, so Bob, Auto Body Technique, the owner. A few nice cars behind us as well. Let's uh, show you the BM. Yeah, let's go. Now, the car's dirty, so there's not much I can show you, but Bob did pop over to Cass HQ a couple of weeks ago, so he's got an idea of what the plans are. So. Just remind me and our viewers, what are the plans? Right, so when we went over to CAS a couple of weeks ago, we discussed the job. We're going to do um, a bonnet respray, a bumper respray, just for stone chip repairs. So there's no damage on it, it's just cosmetic stone chip repairs. We're going to blend it into two front wings. So any stone chips across the front end here, we do any chips across there. And that area there is good for us to blend out in. A nice, simple job, have it uh, done in a week or so. Yeah, fairly, fairly straightforward, but there's not much for me to say or do here. All I've got to do is hand you the keys. Thank and you. I'll see you in about a week or two. of weeks and just looking at it now that paintwork is gleaming so before I go into the next stage I need to grab Bob. Come on in Bob. Hey Raj. Bob's inside inspecting his 190 Cosworth. Is it as good as mine? Oh I wouldn't say it's as good as yours. <laughs> okay. Your one does come a close second. Okay <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I've got to say just looking at it now this paintwork is gleaming. You have done a fantastic job and color match, hey? It's just understanding blending and how to blend the color in. Knocked it out of the park, as they say. <laughs> so, uh, which bits did you paint in the end? So, um, we've done the bonnet for stone chips, we've done the bumper for stone chips, we painted into the front edges of the wings to get rid of any stone chips. So, just on the, the top sections? Just the top and pretty much half the wings there. Anything here, here to here, we done. Back here was just blended in. Pretty standard job what we do day to day. No problems? No problems. Oh, and you did the uh, and, yeah, driver side mirror yeah, as well. Yeah, done a driver side mirror. We can say the only problems that we did have was when cars get to a certain age, plastics get a little bit brittle. So, you know, when you're working with like grills and bonnet badges, they don't come off, they just get a bit brittle. So yeah, we changed one kidney grill and a bonnet badge. Oh, and you've changed the- And uh, one repeater lamp there. Yeah, because that was broken anyway. Yeah. I think you have, because I can see it's gleaming all the way through. You managed to give it a quick detail. Yeah, we gave it a three-in-one polish. Uh, we didn't go into a full paint uh, correction. Um, didn't really need I'm gonna it. Do, I'm going to do that anyway. You're going to do that, yeah. Gave it a three-in-one polish. Just makes it nice and smooth. Takes off any surface scratches. Um, just makes it. Just gives the job a complete look. Then it's bread and butter for you, isn't it? Bread and butter. <laughs> so guys, look, the car's done. I don't really need to show you anymore because it's paintwork. But I can tell you now, it looks. Stunning, night and day difference from when I dropped the car off two weeks ago. Bob's details are there. His Instagram details are on the screen and in the description below, you'll have a full link to their website and their address. Hit him up, they don't just do 
small panels. You could do a full car, can't you? We do everything to restoration, to small panels, to restorations. Well, firstly, thank you very much. Thank you. I'll have the keys. And uh, that's for you. Um, you've got my email address, send me the yep. bill. We'll get that paid. And the next step for me is to get this car back to Cass. Um, we're going to give it a week or two, and then we're going to mop the whole car. So we'll let the paint settle, Bob. Yeah, yeah. Let the paint settle, we'll give the whole car a mop, and then it's going up for sale. So yeah, it has now come to the end of the project. Before it goes up for sale, I will run you through everything we've done to this car, and then one of you lucky guys can buy it. And it's still sunny, so we've still got a couple of months of sunshine, so you can enjoy hood down weather. So guys, I'm going to get this back to Cass. We'll get it detailed and then we'll talk about future plans for this car. Have a look at the M3. Now, Amun's already working away. I know he's washed the car already. Before I get into it, Amun. Thank you. Before I get into it, it's been about nearly three weeks since we had the front end painted. Um, so we've allowed the paint to sort of cure on the car as such. I think that's the correct word. Now, Amun, what are you saying? Hello. How are we doing? Not too bad, thank you. How are you? Um, so Aman's new to Cass, he's been here a few weeks. We introduced him earlier on on Cass Unplugged episode 13. You've given it a quick wash. What did you use in terms of uh, wash products? So we stuck with Meguiar's. We've got gold class car shampoo. Just a good, super slick shampoo. Nice for safe washing. Prior to that, we used some snow foams just to get rid of as much kind of standing debris that we could. And for them, for the wheels, we used Meguiar's all-wheel cleaner, which is a good iron fallout remover. Again, nice. makes washing nice and easy. And then dried it using a Meguiar's drying towel, and then we're inside now. Just so you've had a quick look around the car now that it's clean. Uh, what's your first impression? Let's start with the front, because this is the, the bonnet, the front bumper, and the top portions of the wings have all been painted. What's your first impressions on, on that? First impressions is the paintwork is really nice. Obviously, you're going to have the standard kind of defects that you'd expect um, between the paint and now, which is just your simple kind of like swells and stuff like that. But again, all of those can be removed. Um, so yeah, super happy with how that's going. Now, I don't want to sort of disturb you too much because I can see you are in the zone that's there. All right. What products are you using to uh, polish and you know bring up the, the rest of the car so it looks as good as the front? So I am using Meguiar's Correction Compound, which is, to be honest, probably one of my favorite. Got a good cut to it and it breaks down really nicely as well. So it leaves quite a nice finish if you just wanted to use it as a single stage. And then I'm using it with a microfiber pad. And you're using Meguiar's DA. So waxing, we're gonna be using Meguiar's Ultimate Liquid Wax. Again, super easy to use, super user friendly and a good, good level of protection. The rest of the products are there, but no doubt you'll go into that. We're gonna give the interior a quick detail, the yep. glass, check the engine bay. Yep. All right, so guys, I'm gonna leave Aman here. He'll show you what he's doing. And then I'll be back shortly. Uh, we'll go over the car and then we'll go for one final drive. And I will go through all the improvements and the modifications that we've done to this car since we bought it back in March. And then it's officially going up for sale at the end of this video. So I'm on, I'll leave you to it and I'll see you guys in a bit.
Right guys, as you can see, Aman has spent some serious time giving this car some serious love. It's more or less a stage two correction that he's done. He's had to go in a lot deeper than we anticipated, but wow, the car does look mega. Now let's talk about the stages that this E46 M3 convertible has been through. Now originally purchased in March, so this was our March purchase. If you're not aware, Palm sent me a challenge in January. Can we buy one car a month? And this is the March purchase. The first thing we did, in fact, more or less immediately, was install a Clifford Concept 650 alarm system just to give the car some protection. Now, next up, we tackled the suspension, the wheels, and at the same time, we did the service. We went with suspension, which is manufactured by KW. It's called the SD Suspensions X Range. Complete new coilover kit, fixed damping, but ride height adjustable front and back. The car was also serviced next door by our good friends, Pump Lane Motors. At the same time, the wheels were sent off to Bespoke Alloys in Uxbridge. The original 19-inch wheels were very tired, lack of peel, curb marks and so on, and they needed to be refurbished. And Bespoke Alloys did a fantastic job. Got them back, got some new center caps, some end badges, and at the same time, some fresh rubber, courtesy of our friends, Southall Tires on Lady Margaret Road. Put all that together, and then we'd realize that uh, Palm being Palm had slammed the car a little bit too much. Um, the ride height was a little bit too low. So we had to do a little bit of tinkering, um, just to get the ride height perfect for the way we wanted the car to sit. And then the car went back to Southall Tires and they did a full wheel alignment. Car now drives amazing. The combination of the new suspension and tires has dramatically improved the driving experience of this M3. You can now throw it into corners, very well balanced, quite flat through the corners as well. So yeah, such a joyful car to drive now. After that, we've upgraded the audio and that episode dropped on the channel just recently. Uh, Kenwood CarPlay unit, the DMX 8021 dabs, focal audio throughout, including a focal five channel amplifier and a custom box. Sounds absolutely amazing. Such a great dynamic uh, range in the audio and you can feel the bass when you are pumping it. Now, as you've seen uh, at the beginning of this episode, the car was dropped to our good friend Bob at Auto Body Technique. Uh, the front end was repainted, looks mint. And Amun has now done his magic and the car just looks amazing. Right, that's me covering the process of buying the car in January up until now and we are now in the middle of august the car is now officially going up for sale so now let's get back to cas hq and just give you an overview of the car's history and what we're looking at for this beautiful bmw e46 m3 convertible I've got to say, Amun has done a fantastic job on this E46 M3. I've never seen the color pop like it is today. And to be fair, the sun is out and it is 25 degrees. So it's the perfect weather for this car. Now, I've got my clipboard here. I'm gonna go through some of the specs of the vehicle and then we'll talk about money. So this is a April 2004 registered BMW E46 M3 convertible with the SMG box. It's in carbon black and it's got that contrasting red interior. The SMG gearbox has had the software flash, so it's the SMG2 software, which improves the sort of drivability and also the gear changes. So six owners in total, just under 79,000 miles and plenty of service history. There are 11 stamps in the original BMW service book. There's some service history paperwork from before, and it's had that all important running in service done just under 1200 miles. So service history wise, miles, condition looks fab. In terms of engine, the cars actually had a Vanos rebuild. Two and a half thousand pounds were spent by the previous owner in 2020, less than 3,000 miles ago. 
So you've got a rebuilt Vanus unit, bolts have been replaced, also replaced the Conrod bearings uh, and bolts, and there's a few other bits that are refreshed and replaced at the same time. That bill is in with the service paperwork. Um, the rear boot floor on these cars, you know, they are prone to cracking, should we say. That's been investigated twice and clean bill of health there as well. I've got the spare key as well. Obviously, I've got the folder with all the service history. Uh, looking online today, so I've had a quick scour of the old web, auto trader and piston heads, referring purely to piston heads. Um, cheapest cars, earlier cars, 2001 models, so pre-facelift, higher miles, maybe like 120, 130,000 miles. They are like 10 to 13 grand. Uh, and no hard tops with those. Very little service history as well. And probably 10, 12, 15 owners. Uh, closest I can find to this particular spec is an Imola Red 2005 model, so a little bit newer, uh, but with 10K more miles. And that car is priced at 19,000 pounds. Doesn't include a hard top, and there's no mention of the Vanos ever being done. And that's quite important on the E46 M3s. So let me give you a breakdown. Since we've had the car, we've upgraded the alarm. Clifford Concept 650 alarm system, that's 600 pounds. The paintwork, as you know, the front's all been uh, repainted by Bob at Auto Body Technique. That's about 1,500 pounds. Stage two detail, anything between five to 800 pounds is typically what a good detailer will charge for that. Uh, the audio, three and a half thousand pounds. The new tires and the wheel alignment, you're looking at best part of 800 pounds there. The wheels have been refreshed, that's 400 pounds. And service and bits and pieces, you're looking about another 400 pounds. And also finally guys, don't forget that we've changed the suspension, otherwise you would never have this look. And that's around a thousand pounds for that. So in total, you've got probably somewhere between eight and a half thousand and nine thousand pounds worth of upgrades and modification that we've done to this car since we purchased the car in March. Right, how much are we looking for? Well, we are asking for the car as is today, and don't forget, there is a hard top as well, and that hard top will also be detailed. So including the hard top, the car is up for sale officially at 19,500 pounds. Um, if you're interested in the car, details are down below. You can drop us an email or just DM me direct at Raj Sanger 911. I know some of you are gonna say, what, that's strong money. But actually, when you compare what we've put into the car and what you would need to do if you want to get a car looking as good as this, with low owners, low miles, service history, completely refreshed, ready to go. It's actually a reasonable price that we've got the car up for. So guys, that is the end of this project. The E46 M3 convertible project is now finished. The car's up for sale. If you're interested, as I said, give me a shout, DM me. If you're interested in watching any of the other videos relating to the suspension, the wheels, or the audio upgrade, in the description, we'll have separate links. Click on those, you can watch those. What do you think of the car? What do you guys think of the look and the finish? Is it a thumbs up? What would you have done differently if you would have done things differently? Um, guys, thanks for watching. As always, as I always say at the end of one of our episodes, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you share our content and have subscribed to the channel. Don't forget there's many other projects. This is just one of 12 projects from 2023. This one's complete, but there's a few others that are in the mix. And in fact, the Audi TT, which is one of last year's projects, will also be going up for sale in a week or two. In fact, might already be up for sale. If it is, in the description, we'll have a link. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on another episode on Cast TV.